everyone, it's Sarah from SlimDownWithSarah.com back with a huge question. Don't I always say that? I always say that all my questions are like widely asked and everybody just is dying to know them. Um, anyways, but this is a very popular question. And the question is, well, it's kind of like a series of questions. Am I still working out while I am pregnant? If so, what workouts am I doing? So let me just go ahead and go and answer all of those. So, um, I found out one that I was pregnant around the same time that uh, Shalene Johnson's new program came out, Pio, and I have pretty much been doing Pio anywhere from like really, to be honest, 16 weeks on. Um, the beginning of my pregnancy was a little rough, just because not that I had morning sickness. I think I only had like technical morning sickness for maybe like a day or two where I was like, oh, I think I'm going to puke. Um, but then I really just got caught with fatigue. I was so tired. I just, uh, um, I was just so tired. And this is something that I was familiar with uh, when I was pregnant with my boys. However, it was more of like a, a one week thing. Like I was super tired for a week. I slept, 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 like for a week straight and then it went away. So being pregnant with my baby girl, it's kind of been like, oh, you know, I'm not going to give you morning sickness, but I'm going to make you tired as anything. And that's what she pretty much did all the way up to like 16, 17 weeks. And I am now almost 21 weeks pregnant, so I am over halfway done, um, even more than halfway done if she's anything like her brothers, because I had... Amos at 37 weeks and I think Asher was 36 in a couple days, um, but he was induced uh, due to um, a few complications. So uh, you never know, she might come in, you know, 16 more weeks, which is awesome or less or more, who knows. Uh, but back to the workouts. So like I said, I have been pretty much doing Pio when I can, not every day. Um, it's just... I don't know. I guess I'm just highly not motivated this pregnancy. I can, you know, I'm a great beach body coach. I can make, you know, anyone feeling like they need to work out. I could put that fire under your butt any day. But when it comes to myself, I guess I just kind of needed this break. Uh, since I've been working out for about five, five years straight, uh, eating healthy five years straight. It was almost like I was so consumed with health and fitness and, and recipes and eating healthy and staying active and blah, blah, blah. And not to say that that is not absolutely great things to do while you are pregnant. It's just that, you know, I felt so guilty when I was not on that path prior to pregnancy. Um, it's kind of nice to just let loose and to kind of relax. And I feel like some women are kind of going to, you know, be criticize me because I'm not super, you know, fitness, gung-ho, crazy woman right now. And, um, and a little more relaxed about my fitness right now. Um, but also some women may be able to relate with me because I am, you know, not feeling like an energizer bunny like I normally would. Um, so I do what I can. And there are days when I have done turbo fire. Um, what are the work? There are days when I have done the 21 day fix workouts. So, and some days I just go for walks, um, but I must say, you know, I used to work out five to six days a week, and now I probably only work out maybe two, two times per week. And I have, I can't really say that I've lost a lot of muscle tone, because I can still see it. If I still flex my abs, sure, I got a baby girl right there, but I was even telling hubby, I could see my obliques still. So, they're still there, and when I make a muscle in my arm, there's still a muscle there, there's just a little layer of fat that wasn't there before. Um, I am not eating the best either. Um, so that's something that I really am struggling with as well. Um, and the only excuse I have is pregnancy because if I wasn't pregnant, I definitely know I wouldn't be eating like this. So bad girl, bad girl. But I mean, I must say I am extremely lucky and baby girl is super healthy. She's doing great. And I am, even though I have packed on more weight than I would have liked to at this point, um, I am still doing extremely healthy. There's no proteins. There's no sugars in my urine. TMI. Um, and I, my blood pressure is great. My, everything is just great. I am doing very healthy despite my weight gain. So for those women that are not going to go the same route, um, 
and that are maybe not feeling as fatigued or you know maybe just just they they just don't want to gain any weight or gain as little amount of weight as possible um, I know that doing Pio has definitely helped um, it's just getting a little strange right now I want to that the word strange I want to use because some of the moves that you have to do just they feel not right um, like when you're going down in vinyasa and then a downward dog and everything that whole little routine it feels strange on my abdomen this could be just something that I feel um, I carry my babies really low and you might not feel it so I must say that I probably will not continue to do Pio for maybe I'll, I'll only do it maybe like two to three more weeks with my challenge group and finish out the, the Pio routine um, just because I simply feel it's just not it's just not working for my belly my growing belly anymore it might work for you though so would I recommend Pio as a pregnancy workout um, 100% absolutely yes uh, just because I carry low doesn't mean everyone carries low uh, I feel that it is it'll be great for birth I feel that it's great stretching I feel that it's great muscle toning uh, you want to keep your upper body nice and strong you want to keep nice flexibility going it has all important key things that you will need during labor and to keep your body able to bounce back after labor so I highly would recommend Pio um, and if you want more information, just go in the description box below. You can find out all about it, or you could contact me on my Facebook fan page and see if it's right for you. I'd love to chat with you about it. Another program that I would recommend um, for, for pregnancy is the 21 Day Fix. Um, I, if I were to do the program myself right now, I would definitely not do it at the lowest calorie intake. And if you are familiar with the program, you know what I'm talking about. And if you've never heard of the program or you're not familiar with the program, you will have no clue what I'm talking about. But there is a lower calorie range, a mid calorie range, and a higher calorie range based on your body needs. Um, I would not suggest the lower one simply because you are creating a human being. You need those extra calories. Great workouts though, 30 minutes, bing, bang, boom, get it out. It's cardio, you can modify the cardio. You lift weights, you can lift lighter weights if you feel like it's too much. The moves, I feel, sure there are ab workouts. Um, there's gonna be ab movements in every single program that I suggest. Just do something different. It is not recommended to do ab work while you're pregnant. And that's just the obvious because you have a baby in there <laughs> like I can't be doing a hundred sit-ups you know with a baby being squished in there it's just not gonna work it's gonna feel uncomfortable it's not safe I would not recommend it and don't do any of these workouts without talking to your doctor I should have said that in the beginning anyways but the 21 day fix I definitely give two thumbs up for pregnant women I just think that all around it's a great program to maintain and you would also be able to bounce back afterwards and it could lead you all the way through from your very first month of pregnancy all the way up to your ninth month of pregnancy if you're feeling up to working out when you are 40 weeks pregnant another workout that I would highly recommend is turbo fire however modifications there are jumps in it there are some high kicks things like that but remember modification people like even when you're not pregnant you know kicking your your knee up to your forehead might not be in the picture for you just modify do what you can do there is some great cardio in it there's really no strength training there is some upper body and lower body in the toning workouts and you use a resistance band um i feel that those are just great workouts for pregnant or not pregnant but i'm just, you know these are mostly for pregnant women is what i'm trying to chime in on um so i feel that for me turbo fire is the perfect length it, you feel it like you feel like you got a good workout in because i know with my boys going back to school i'm gonna feel lazy um because they're not gonna be home with me and i'm gonna be like oh, what do i do if i get a turbo fire workout in that's you know 30 to 45 minutes long and even if i modify and don't I don't want to say don't give my 100% because I will be. I just will have to modify. I'm still going to be sweating. I'm going to still get a great workout in. And I'm not going to be hurting at the end. I'm not going to be like, oh my god, my body is so sore. Um, I just feel like it's a great, fun workout that it's going to keep you lighthearted and, you know, happy-go-lucky while you're pregnant. Uh, this program will make you feel sexy. So, so far, Pio, yes. 
Turbo Fire, yes. 21 Day Fix, yes. Um, Shaleen Extreme, yes and no. The cardio, I love the cardio workouts that are in that program. Um, there's only two and they are so much fun. I highly recommend those for any, any time. Um, but again, for pregnant women, yes, I highly recommend any pregnant woman should be able to do these as long as your health is good. You're not on bed rest or anything. They're fun. And as long as you are listening to your doctor, whatever they recommend, and not going over the recommended weight, you know, if you feel like you're lifting too much in Chalene Extreme, then you probably are. If your heart is feeling like you're, you know, it's going to pound out of your chest, your heart rate is way too high, you're getting way too warm, you need to cool it down, you need to stop, you need to lower that heart rate, you need to rest, listen to your body. You know, when you're pregnant, you have to listen to your body. You got to worry about that baby because when you're done having the baby, you can go crazy. But just for these nine months, you know, just modify, listen to what your body is saying to you. So would I recommend Chalene Extreme as well? Yes, I would, but with modifications and choose your weights wisely. Um, with any of these workouts I'm recommending, you could find in the details below. But please, if you are unsure about any of these programs, always talk to your doctor. And if you're unsure about talking to someone who's actually done them, come to me, find me on my fan page and say, Sarah, I like all the workouts that you said, but which one would would you think would be right for me um, because I'm this far along or I've done this in the past girls I have done all these workouts every single one of them completed every single one of them so you are coming to the right person I know what it felt like I know what results I got I know I'm pregnant right now I know what it feels like to do these workouts um, and then I think I want to touch base on one more workout that I would suggest um, is Slim and Six it was my very first program it was actually extremely challenging because I had been so out of shape after having my second son um, it really kicked my butt into gear I know that they changed the format of the program a little bit um, but I mainly stuck with the 47 minute workout I think it was burn it up ramp it up I don't know it was one of those I really enjoyed that program it gave me more upper body strength it helped me lose weight fast which is not what you're going for when you're pregnant however no one is saying this is a race you take it at your own pace and you modify it. And in each one of these workouts I'm recommending, there is a modifier, modifier in it. And you're not going to have to be like, well, what am I supposed to be doing? Like, you're not going to be confused. Um, so if you have any questions about any of these workouts that I've just suggested, let me go over them again. Um, the one I just mentioned, Slim and Six, awesome for beginners, pregnant women, or anyone who just simply wants to switch it up. Um, I think this is a great program when you are trying to lose weight. I lost 20 pounds in those six weeks, so it definitely does a trick. Um, so Slimming Six, 21 Day Fix, Shalene Extreme, Turbo Fire, and Pio. Those are the five workouts that I would highly recommend if you are pregnant, if you are thinking you're going to become pregnant, or if you just had a baby and you want results. Um, like I said, if you are completely confused about which one of those five to get, definitely find me on my uh, Facebook fan page. Just search Slim Down with Sarah. You can find the link right here. And uh, let's chat because I would love to pick which one I think would be perfect for you. I know that I've gotten results with all of these programs and I know you'll love them too. So I hope that I helped in choosing a pregnancy workout for you. Um, and like I said, contact me. I'll see you guys later. Bye.